You want a website that looks professional, but not if that means spending thousands of dollars on a developer or dozens of hours trying to figure out a website builder that you'll really only be using one time. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through a full review of Wix and explain who it's really built for, how it stacks up against other platforms, and whether it can actually help you launch a great looking website without all the usual headaches. Now, why should you trust me? Well, I've been building websites for over 10 years, and on this very channel, you'll find over 30 tutorials of me building different websites with, you guessed it, Wix. So before we get started, I do want to say there's one big catch with Wix that no one really warns you about. And if you overlook it, you're looking at hours of backtracking and a lot of unnecessary frustration. So make sure that you watch till the end to learn exactly what that is. So now let's talk about who Wix is really for. So there's a reason that over 250 million people have used Wix when they're trying to build their first site. It's positioned as the easiest option. There's no coding, no complicated setup, just pick a template and go. But ease of use isn't the full story. And depending on what you're trying to build, Wix could either be a perfect fit for you or a frustrating dead end. So let's go ahead and break this down. So if you're a small business owner, a freelancer, or someone launching a personal brand, Wix is probably going to feel like a dream to you. You can get something polished online fast without touching a line of code or more importantly, hiring any expensive developers to help. And same thing if you're building a portfolio, a resume site, or even a basic online store. The drag and drop builder makes it easy to move things around exactly the way that you want. It's intuitive and you'll get the hang of it in under about an hour, I'd say. But there's a flip side. If you're the kind of person who loves tinkering, customizing every little pixel, or planning for a long-term scale, Wix it might feel limiting. It's not WordPress. Right? You're not going to have total control over every function and plugin. And if you're building something massive, like a site with tons of blog content or advanced integrations or custom development needs, you're probably better off looking at platforms with more open architecture. Now, the sweet spot for Wix is someone who wants professional results without needing to become a web designer to get there. And for most people, that's exactly what they need. But knowing where Wix fits is only half the story. So let's look at the actual pricing plans because this is where a lot of people get kind of surprised. Wix loves to advertise that you can start for free. And technically that's true. You can just go ahead and click right up here. Uh, and once you click on that, you can sign up for the free plan and you will be good to go with Wix and you can actually start building your website, which is awesome. But the real question is, what do you actually get on the free plan and is it even usable? Well, the short answer is kind of. So the free plan, it gives you access to the Wix builder, different templates, and lets you publish your site, but it'll have Wix branded domain with Wix ads across your pages and limited storage. Now it's fine for testing things out, so go ahead and check it out, but you're not going to build a real business or personal brand on it. This is more of what I'd say is a sandbox and a solution. So let's look at the paid plans because that's really where most people will end up anyway. So Wix has four main tiers. First is the light plan, which is $17 a month. That's great for personal sites or portfolios. You can get a custom domain, no ads, and enough tools to make a clean site. This is a solid entry point if you're just getting started. Next is a core plan, that's $29 a month. This is where it starts to make more sense for small businesses. You get extra storage, more collaborators, e-commerce features, and a lot more customization. Most service-based businesses or side hustles will be just fine here. From there is the business plan, which is $36 a month. So this one's built for people selling online seriously. You know, you can think about things like more storage, premium apps, product pages, subscriptions, and stronger automation tools. Now, if you're planning to run an online store at a high level, this is likely where you would end up. And then there's a business elite plan. This is $159 a month, and it's built for scaling businesses requiring advanced features. It includes unlimited storage, up to 100 collaborators, advanced marketing suite, and priority customer care. But realistically, this is for people who scale large on Wix, so it's very unlikely that you'd need this plan anyway. Now, if you do the math, you're really looking at anywhere between 200 to 400 hours a year, depending on which plan you go with. Most of you watching this will be just fine on the light or core plans realistically. And yeah, that is more expensive than some of the other platforms out there, especially when you consider something like WordPress. But here's the thing, when you factor in the time that you'd spend learning WordPress, 
installing plugins, buying themes, tools, and hosting, managing updates, dealing with security, and possibly hiring someone to fix whatever it is that you break? Wix really isn't a bad deal at all from a price perspective. You're trading control for speed. And in most cases, that's a trade a lot of people are happy to make, especially when they just want to launch something that looks legit, works well, and doesn't turn into a second job. But one thing that makes this price tag a lot more justifiable, in my opinion, are the templates and just how much work they can actually save you. Now, the templates are one of the biggest reasons why people choose Wix over other website builders. It just looks good straight out of the box. Wix actually has over 900 templates across just about every category that you can think of. So fitness, consulting, photography, online stores, resumes, personal blogs, restaurants, you name it. And these aren't basic cookie cutter designs either. They actually feel modern and custom built. In fact, some of them look like something that you pay a designer thousands of dollars for, and you can fully customize them in any way that you wish. And what's even better is that each template is mobile optimized from the start. So you don't have to go in and manually adjust everything just to make it work on a mobile phone. Wix does that automatically. And while you may have to make a few tweaks here and there, it is pretty smooth. Now, most website builders have templates, but what sets Wix apart is how the templates are also tied into functionality. So for example, if you choose a template for an online store, it comes preloaded with all the e-commerce features that you need. So product pages, a shopping cart, payment buttons, even email signups. So whether you're trying to sell a product, book appointments, or just get your portfolio online, there's a template designed to get you 90% of the way there before you even get in there and start dragging things around. Now, once you've picked a template, customizing it is really where Wix really starts to kind of feel like your own. It's not just about colors and fonts here. It's about how easily you can move things around, add features, and actually make the site feel like yours. So let's take a closer look at how that works and how Wix stacks up when it comes to flexibility and ease of use. So one of the first things that you noticed when you start using Wix is how intuitive it feels. Everything is drag and drop. You click on what you want, you move it around, you type directly into text boxes, and build your site visually. And just so we're all on the same page here, this isn't normal, this is exceptional. Most web builders will not let you do this. What you see with Wix is what you get. You're editing your site in real time, and the changes are exactly what your visitors will see when you hit publish. You wanna move a headline up? Just drag it. Wanna swap out an image? Click and go. No coding, no weird menus, just click and make things happen. Now, if you don't want to build a site from scratch, there's something that they have called the Wix ADI, which is Artificial Design Intelligence. What it does, it asks you a few simple questions like what your site is for and what kind of you know, look you're looking for, and then it builds out a fully functional website for you in seconds with messaging that aligns with your brand as well. Wix gives you full design freedom, but without the usual confusion. Most builders either lock you into rigid templates or you know, overwhelm you with options that require a learning curve. Wix finds the middle ground. For most people, this is exactly the kind of website building experience that they're really hoping for. It's fast, visual, flexible, and actually kind of fun. And if your goal is to sell something, that's where things get even more interesting. So if you're planning to sell anything through your site, whether it's you know, physical products, digital downloads, online courses, or even services, Wix makes that surprisingly easy to set up. Right out of the box, you get everything you need. So product pages, shopping carts, secure checkouts, built-in payment processing, which is a big deal, uh, with options like Stripe, PayPal, and Wix payments. The interface is clean too. And you can upload products, add images, set pricing, track inventory, and manage orders without having to leave the dashboard. It's built for non-tech people, but it still gives you enough flexibility to run a serious operation. And you also get marketing tools built in, like you know, abandoned cart recovery and promo codes and email automation, plus integrations with social platforms like Facebook and Instagram, so you can really sell across multiple channels. That all said, here's where it helps for me to be honest, right? So if your entire business is e-commerce focused, meaning it's the main thing that you're doing and you have something like you know, an online clothing brand and all you do is sell clothes and you plan to scale fast, Shopify is probably a better bet. And I'd appreciate it, you can use the link right up here 
to go check that out if you'd like and start for a dollar. But if e-commerce is just part of your business or you're just getting started, Wix is more than enough, especially when you consider how easy it is to blend e-commerce with the rest of your site like blog content, lead magnets, booking pages, or portfolios. But selling is only one part of running an online business. What about you know, the tools that help you grow, automate, and actually manage that business? Well, that's where the Wix app market comes into play. So this is one of the more underrated parts of Wix. And honestly, it's where it starts feeling less like a website builder and more like a full business toolkit. Wix has its own app market with over 300 apps that you can add to your site with just a few clicks. Some are built by Wix, others are from third-party developers. But the goal is the same, extend the functionality of your site without needing to code or hire a developer. Want to add a live chat box? Well, there's an app for that. Need appointment booking? Done. All of it can be added in a few minutes. And beyond the app market, Wix already includes a bunch of powerful tools right inside the dashboard. So email marketing, you can build and send branded email campaigns directly from your site. Uh, it has a social post designer, so you can create and schedule social media graphics without leaving Wix. Now it's not Photoshop, but it does get the job done. Uh, it has a video editor, so great for testimonials, promo clips, or quick homepage videos. Built in and surprisingly decent. And then automations, you could set up rules like when someone fills out a form, send a confirmation email and add them to my contact list, things like that. And then analytics, so you could see who's visiting your site, where they're coming from, and what they're doing, all without installing anything extra whatsoever. All of this means that you're not just building a site, you're building a system. But even with all these tools, there's one thing that every site needs to succeed over time, and that's visibility. So the next question is, can Wix actually rank in Google, or are you, you know, stuck on page 10 no matter how good your site looks? Well, let's break down the SEO or search engine optimization next. Now, Wix used to have a bit of a reputation when it came to SEO, and it was not a good one. A few years back, a lot of marketers, they completely avoided it because of things like messy code, uh, limited control over metadata, and slow page speeds. But that's changed a lot. Wix has completely overhauled its SEO tools, and now it includes everything most people need to rank well, especially if you're a local business a freelancer, or running a service-based site. Now they give you the ability to control pretty much everything for SEO, like you know URL structures, 301 redirects, structured data, and they even give you a personalized SEO checklist to follow to make this work much easier. On top of that, Wix now includes faster load times, automatic image optimization, and mobile responsiveness out of the box. Now for 95% of users, Wix's SEO tools are more than good enough. And more importantly, they're simple enough that you'll actually use them. Which brings us to the final piece of the puzzle, what are the downsides of Wix? Because even though Wix does have a lot right, it's not without its flaws. So let's break those down next so that you know exactly what to watch out for. All right, so let's talk about what Wix doesn't do well because frankly, no platform is perfect and Wix is no exception to that. So the first and biggest con, you're paying for convenience. Now Wix isn't cheap, it's not crazy expensive, but it isn't cheap, especially once you move beyond the basic plans. If you're just building a simple site and don't need all the bells and whistles, you might find yourself wondering if the price is really worth it. But here's the thing to that, Wix is charging for simplicity. You're not paying just for a website, you're paying for speed, polish, and tools that work together seamlessly without hours of configuration. That trade-off alone is worth it in my eyes. The second downside is the template lock-in. So this is the one big catch with Wix that no one really warns you about that I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's important. Once you choose a template and start editing, you can't just swap that out to another one. If you wanna change templates later, you basically have to rebuild your site from scratch with all the content and everything. Now it's not a deal breaker, but it does mean you should spend a little extra time picking the right template at the start. And third is the lack of advanced customization. Yes, Wix gives you a lot of freedom with layout and design, but if you want full control over your site's backend, server settings, or the ability to install third-party apps at a deep level, you're going to run into some walls. Now still, for most people, these trade-offs are very manageable. If you know what Wix can and can't do, you can avoid the common headaches 
and actually get the most out of what it is that it offers. And if you're thinking, okay, you know, I've got the full picture. Now, just tell me, is this actually worth it? Well, let's go ahead and cover that. So if you're a beginner, a small business owner, or someone who just wants a professional site without getting buried in plugins, website security, hosting headaches, or custom code, Wix is your answer. You get modern templates, a super intuitive builder, powerful built-in tools, and enough flexibility to launch a serious website that actually looks and feels like a finished product. And you could do it without hiring anyone, without learning how to code, and without burning weeks of your life trying to make everything work. And hey, if you're you know, deciding that Wix, you know, it sounds like the right fit, well, I've got a link that you can click on right up here or in the description that'll give you the absolute best pricing currently available. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment and I will happily get back to you.